Hey, what's happening, you guys? How are you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful day? It's March 16, 2021. We are in the Big Bear Lake area. Um, crazy. If you guys, if any of you watched the video that I made last night, I drove down to Lake Arrowhead Village, you guys, at like 11 p.m. Um, I, I didn't have to. I just had to put money in my bank because I had some uh, bills that were going to go through overnight and they didn't fix our ATM all weekend up here, the one that I used for a depository. Um, my bank, they'd be fine with it. I know I probably wouldn't, wouldn't be charged overdraft fees and stuff, but it gave me an excuse to, to, to sack up and uh, drive down there for you guys because a lot of you, I drove right by where, where you guys come up in the Running Springs area and then from that point, you can see the whole drive, you guys. Like right from basically that snow line. So right when you start to hit snow, that's where you're seeing this freaking video from last night. So yeah, it is nighttime, but you can see very, very well. And Lake Arrowhead got way more snow than uh, um, than us. They got way more snow. They got about five times more. They got like a foot. It's unbelievable how beautiful it looks down there. It looks like you would expect this town to look. So anyway, that's what we got going on. And yeah. I'm gonna hold the camera out the window a little bit to avoid some of this glare. I used James's advice, even though I didn't want to in terms of like reducing uh, the quality a tiny bit. And I'm hoping that works out. I'm still seeing glare, but I don't think that that has anything to do with glare. So it's all good. So we're just gonna do a drive through, through the whole valley real quick. So you guys can get a sense of what's left over here. <clears throat> it's really not that much. I'd say uh, some spots in town got three inches. And if you're like at the mountain range, there's like at the ski resorts, possibly you got four inches at the most, like literally on the mountain. However, the rest of town, man, it's just not a, nothing, hardly anything. As I said, if you guys look at that Lake Arrowhead video, it looks, it's like we're in Mammoth. I couldn't believe it. I haven't seen Arrowhead with that much snow since uh, my mom had a, my parents had a vacation home up there when I was a kid, a teenager, a tanager. Yeah, guys, so we're coming up to Moon Ridge Road right here. This is what you would take to go to uh, Bear Mountain and the Big Bear Zoo. That direction. All right. Oh, it's so nice, you guys. It's so warm out here. It feels like it's 50 degrees, you guys. It really does. It feels really, really warm. And why that's not good is for those of you who want to come up and play in the snow. For instance, like all that new snow in Lake Arrowhead, guarantee you guys will be all gone in three days. I guarantee you it'll be gone unless it's sitting in a shady area that doesn't receive much sunlight. Um, it's going to be gone. Their foot of snow will be gone as fast as our two inches of snow. But, you know, as I said, it was probably about three inches in in a lot of spots, two inches in most, maybe a fourth inch uh, on the mountain in terms of the ski resorts. But yeah, so nothing, nothing too spectacular, guys. But it is beautiful, just like all you guys. I love you guys, man. I love you guys so much, man. I almost used the F word. Wow, without even being upset or anything, I almost used the F word like I used to talk. Just F this, F that, you know? Flada bing, flada boom. Ah, what are you doing? Go, 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 go. You're a nice person. I'm gonna let you go. You're being very nice. See, the road rage is better today than it was last night, huh? I was, and I said, I apologize about last night, you guys. I'm really sorry about how I behaved. Um, as you guys can see though, I'm struggling emotionally when I'm going through that last night because of you guys being there with me. Um, it helped me to not, you know, go a little aggro or more aggro than I typically would have. So you guys have the most incredible impact on my life. It's little things like that, that 
I acknowledge so deeply. And it means so much to you guys. So much to me. Here's my favorite part of town, this whole uh, prairie area. And then guys, this is where I want you guys to go do the snow play, Big Bear snow play. You, it, you have to pay for it obviously, but the great thing is guys, you have a, a conveyor belt that pulls you up to the top and then uh, you just sled down the easier slope, the harder slope, and just go right back up. You don't have to worry about being hit by cars. Uh, parents, you don't have to worry about that type of stuff. You'll be totally safe, your kids will be safe and you'll have a great time. Man. If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> All right, um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what the heck's going on. I was supposed to go to, I'm supposed to go to DIY right now because I lost the key to the big suite that I was staying in. And they could charge me like 50, 60 bucks, but they know who I am from from the channel so I, uh, I offered to just go real quickly and get a bunch I told them I'll get like four keys made and really nice ones for them so yeah so I'm not being charged for, for, for losing the key because I'm getting it done for them right now we're in a couple minutes yeah guys we are technically in Big Bear City now and this is Dead Man's Curve that we're coming onto right now. This is Dead Man's Curve. I always assume they call it that because when it gets icy, if you slide over the edge, there's no like a fence to hold you back and you'll fall over the little hill into the houses right there. Look at that, guys. It's actually right up the middle. Look at that, how crazy is that? In a spot that is so dangerous to drive when there's ice and snow. I would not want to have a bedroom in the backside of that house. Okay, here is Soiko K. It's one of our most popular stores up here. <laughs> Woohoo! Soiko K. There's the airports over there, off of Big Tree. And that's where my old Jiu Jitsu studio is, gym. Bear City Jiu Jitsu. Coach Jovan Godinez. I miss that guy, man. A minor falling out, but it didn't have to do with like my relationship with him. We were both man manipulated, and I bought into my other friend's BS. I just couldn't. Like, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm the person who does not get BS. I don't get shined. Um, I see through so much, and I believe it's because I have my father's mind. He's. He's a very, or was a very well-known psychiatrist and, and ran federal penitentiaries as chief psychiatrist and this and that. And um, the guy's just got a brilliant mind, but I believe I got that part of his mind that's that, that's very psychological and uh, um, analytic. And so for me, it's, it's very tough for someone to play me. Girls, it's easy for them to play me because I have no game and I get just like, just so infatuated so quickly. So that's easy, but when it comes to just a normal person, like I, I, I'm, I'm like almost embarrassed that my previous so-called best friend actually played me like this. Just crazy, just crazy. But hey, man, he has to deal with some butt ugly chick who's just a mean, mean chick. So it's all good with me. I don't care. 
I was trying to save him from her. And, and I don't mean to say it like that. I don't mean to be mean and, and make a comment like that. But she essentially, I feel like, was the wedge in between my best friend and, and myself. But once again, the guy wasn't even my, like, uh, in hindsight, the guy was not my best friend. He's just a, just a typical manipulator. Um, but at least when I helped him out and stuff, it's not like I like loaned, like I, I did a lot for him, a lot, a lot of financial stuff. I gave him a 2016 street bike. It was brand new, basically. I gave him one of my cars. Guys, I signed this stuff over to him because other people in, in his life were tearing his life down and I didn't want them to think that they had the upper edge on him. So I gave him everything so he had everything and could, could, could start his new beginning at the top with everything. So he had everything. Um, as I said, a brand new motorcycle, a street bike that I gave him, uh, my old car, um, works fine. I had just put $500 brand new tires on it. Um, it, and I just paid for its registration. I paid for the $50 fees on the bike and the car to sign it over to him. So he wouldn't have to come out of pocket at all. Cause once again, guys, his past, like, uh, like wife or like girlfriend or like something like uh they were doing whatever they they could to like ruin his uh, life and i don't know you know like he's not the most horrible person but uh he like he does take advantage and it's just super super frustrating um but he he never ever like bought like borrowed stuff and didn't pay me back or like nothing like that like uh that was something that I'm very, very, very pleased with is that this situation is a situation where you would expect 99 out of 100 times, maybe more than that, that the person who you're helping, you're eventually going to get to that point where like there's like nothing more to like, you know, uh, help with. And uh, the fact that he didn't, you know, keep on taking and stuff and if he needed something like he would actually take care of it so that was super super cool he helped out around the place and fixed some stuff up and uh did some stuff for me so he he wasn't like a derelict but it's just how he how he did me just like was just so so messed up when i went out of my way to like take him in on on christmas day he got he got booted out of the last place he was staying on christmas day two years ago and i i took him in that day but it is what it is Anyway, you guys hang tight real quick. We're on Highway 38. Um, hey, guys. The moral of that story, I guess, is uh, always be who you are. Don't ever change the kindness, the love, um, because you invest a lot in specific people, and then they completely screw you over and break your heart. So never change who you are. Don't stop being the people you are because punks like that, um, guys who are going to get their asses beat in the bare knuckle um, competition because that's what he's in. He fights for uh, that professional company, Bare Knuckle Boxing, and uh, yeah, I mean he's he's a he's a, 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 a tough dude. My only chance against him would be if I shot him. <laughs> you know, like the guy's a monster. Um, he's a monster. Lots of people in the UFC think like he'd be champion. Like that's how that's how good he is. But yeah, he's just a kook. He's just a total toolbox. I hope you hear me, Nick. Hope you hear me, buddy. You're not welcome up here. But anyway, uh, yeah, you guys, we're going into Irwin Lake. I thought we would do just uh, drive to the end of this part of town instead of going to Lake Williams. No one goes to Lake Williams. So we're just gonna go up here and yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So this is State Lane and you can see there's very little snow out here. This is part of town that gets less snow, kind of like Baldwin. They will get a little more snow over here than they do Baldwin. And the reason is because they're closer to these mountains right here. And these are beautiful, aren't they guys? Just being right up against these mountains. But yeah, so uh, when you're right up against these mountains, it's gonna contain the storm a little more in here and give it a little less, less area to, you know, dodge out of here. But then the further the storm moves this way towards Baldwin out there, uh, that's when they start to dissipate and uh, basically they've been wrung out of all the moisture that they would have. Only because of this huge, huge dry climate, just right here. As you guys know, like this is such a unique 
area for weather. It's so cool. But yeah, on, let's, let's go down one of these streets instead of going down to the end. Yeah, guys, this is a really secluded neighborhood, guys. This is way out of town. This is far, far, far and away out of town. All right. Big tight. Look at this. Big empty lots right here. Man, that's awesome. I never noticed those, probably because I don't go down all these streets all the time. All right, guys, sorry about that. And once again, sorry about some of the glare. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure in about a month, you guys, when we're driving around, going to be a little bit better because I kind of figured out that the angle of the sun right now is actually kind of like uh as we're driving it is having an effect because I looked at some videos last year around the same time <laughs> and you know what like I was seeing a little bit of glare a little bit of glare maybe it's just a coincidence but you know I try to analyze this stuff and try to figure it out as dumb as it is So we are in Irwin Lake, you guys, and uh, we're about to exit and hit Highway 38, which is one of the main roads that you guys come in on, one of the three. It's the second busiest of the three in and outs of town. The old in out and out of town. <laughs> All right. Ah. on highway 38 so when you guys get to this point on highway 38 and let's say you're staying up in sugarloaf and we have snow and ice um you're gonna be fine now but if we had like a big storm and you, and, and you guys are are, are getting in, into town and you you're like we made it we're good we're good please please if you're in sugarloaf guys turn left at this next street called baldwin and go up to sugarloaf through baldwin or on baldwin it's not any further than driving up maple but it's a lot less incline so uh maple is one of, is probably when we have ice and snow here probably the most dangerous street in the whole town uh, i don't care what you're driving you'll slide right through so you're going to want to make a left here to sugarloaf this is baldwin lane it's not that steep so you guys will be good but if you didn't go up baldwin then you would come out here and Come down to Big Bear Boulevard and hang a left. I'll show you. And then your first street, your first light will be Maple Lane, and you'll make a left up there to go back up to the top up there. But the safest route is going up Baldwin Lane, always, you guys. And it's not really that out of the way. It's like a, it's like like a two minute drive uh, difference. Um, but then again, if, if you're coming this direction, you'll get into Sugarloaf a lot faster going up Baldwin Lane anyway. So yeah, this is the side of town that 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 doesn't get much snow. The snow melts quickly. I mean, guys, seriously, go look at the Lake Arrowhead video just from 12 hours ago. <laughs> seriously, unbelievable amounts of snow for that place. All right. So if you make a right here, you're going into Baldwin Lake. We're not going that way. We're on Big Bear Boulevard now. This is the, the start of Big Bear Boulevard. And if you stay on this the whole way, it turns into Highway 18 because this, this road takes you out of town. And once you hit the Big Bear Dam, it becomes Highway 18. And that's what we took down last night. It was beautiful, guys. It was a little scary, but it was beautiful. 
Okay, this is Maple Lane. This is the, the main way into Sugarloaf. It's a lot steeper and a lot scarier. Doesn't look that steep, but I promise you guys, it's very steep. And when there's ice and snow on it, good luck. That's all I gotta say. Woo rock! It's not gonna be fun. Yeah, this is the aftermath, you guys. This way, the more snow we will come into. Always. Hang time. All right, sorry about that, you guys. Community market coming up here on the left. Very, very popular, famous place. This was one of the original stores in town, you guys. When I think even back in like the 30s or 40s or something, maybe. Maybe earlier, maybe not, but it's it's one of the original stores that's still here. This was the main part of town, you guys. This was this was it. This was the main part of Big Bear. I I, I don't think there was the town of, of of Big Bear Lake. I think this was where they actually started this this town when they wanted to make this like a not an annexed version, but uh because they obviously did explore like the whole Fawnskin area, Holcomb stuff like that. And believe it or not. What, What's pretty awesome is that Holcomb Valley, you guys, off of the North Shore, way over there, and there's our favorite smoke shop and, a, and one of our favorite business owners, Bear Smoking, right? But uh, over on Holcomb Valley, or in Holcomb Valley, it's about 700, 800 feet above us right here. Um, there was a whole town right there, and there's a bit of a ghost town remaining. It's interesting, very interesting. But if you drive up there, you'll see little cabins and stuff that are just completely abandoned. Uh, it's beautiful up there, but that was where this town was thriving. That was the main hub. Nowhere in this valley, it was up in the hills. It was crazy. And I know most of you have never seen it. And so when you get a chance to come up here in the summertime and stuff, check out Holcomb Valley, you guys. There's so much history. If there wasn't Holcomb Valley, this town might be a lot different. Um, and it may not have uh, been put on the map quite as quickly because they found gold over there and so that that created a big gold rush down here hang on guys sorry about that I had to pull over for a second I had to take it cool yeah, it's not it's not legal to talk and, and drive I swear that's the key that I had I right, know so now we got to go back to, uh, we got to go to DIY and get a key made for the hotel I'm staying at because I lost the key apparently. I swear I left it in the darn room, but maybe uh, these people are so freaking nice that I didn't even argue with them, even though I'm certain I left it right on the table because I checked out a little early and I had to go to work real quick. And so I couldn't stop by the front desk and uh, I left it for the housekeepers right there, but apparently they didn't get it. So I'm going to get a bunch more made. I'm getting four keys made for them. Oh, look at those clouds rolling in over there. That's where you enter town at the Big Bear Dam. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. There's a whole bunch of clouds down there at down below us, and they're trying to get through, but they can't right now. So I bet if we drove all the way over there right now, we would be hitting just massive amounts of fog. We'd literally be driving into the big cumulus clouds that are over there. That's pretty darn cool, you guys. Um, and then the whole drive down the mountain, well, until you break through the bottom of the clouds is going to be pretty rough. It's so amazing, guys. Like, most of the time, we don't realize up here that it's gloomy and nasty down there because it's just beautiful up here like this, you know? It's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool, so cool, so cool. All right, so we need to uh, turn right up here to go to D-A-H-Y. Look at Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. Just unbelievably 
beauteous. Alright guys, so we're turning into DIY. And guys, uh, the owners at the Fireside Lodge, when I do the next video of the room I'm in right now, because it's a completely different room, so you guys will get a, it's like a different hotel. So that's why it's really important for me, for you guys to see it. Um, I'm gonna try to get the owners in the video because they are the sweetest people. And their little son, he's got a, a, a YouTube channel. He's gotta be about 10 years old. So smart, this kid. And he has a, a gaming channel. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, so we are here at DIY. We're gonna go inside real quick. So just bear with me. All right, All right guys, we just left DIY. We gotta go back to the hotel, give them the keys. I, I made them four keys. Cause I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I was only supposed to make one. Because I lost them, but they, we're, we're making the keys. So look at the keys. I don't think, oh wait, there's the keys. And guys, dude, you're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this. Over at the uh, DIY, three of my YouTube friends noticed me. They're like, oh my God, is it you? <laughs> the whole staff was like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> it was so cool, man. Oh, it's so cool. Right, my bad, sorry about that, you guys. So yeah. We just left DIY and dealing with a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, glare right here. I'm tired of it. Seriously, I'm tired of it. We're just gonna hold it up. But guys, I couldn't believe it, dude. Multiple people, multiple people came up to me at DIY recognizing me. And I had my mask on and everything. That's crazy. That is so cool, man. I love you guys so much. I can't believe that happened. I mean, yeah, it happens a lot, like, uh, but not like three times at, in, in, in the same location. You know, like, yeah, people recognize me, but it's not like that. Like, holy moly, that's pretty cool. I'm so, so unbelievably blessed. Hands going back out the window to avoid glare, my bad. Best restaurant in town, Cafe Grape. I'm telling you guys, I love that place. So sweet. upstairs I miss it already but our place right now is awesome too as I said <laughs> there's a fan right there she's she uh, recognized us see her she's <laughs> she's, she's waving <laughs> that's cool man another fan they see me with the camera it's so cool dude I am so, oh my god that is so awesome oh my god I'm so happy and excuse this okay guys when I smile big and you guys see this white stuff up here? That's a nicotine, uh, it's just nicotine. It's not like I have like like messed up gums. It's just a little nicotine pouch, that's all. And I keep it up there, but yeah, hang tight. Oh my God, that was so All right guys, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna upload the aftermath video right now. I know it's late, you guys, 2.30, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's so late, and then we're gonna do the rest, uh, or we're gonna do a video of this new room tomorrow for you guys, okay? Peace out, it is so cool. You guys are so awesome, man. Like, I'm, I'm getting recognized everywhere, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Seriously, thanks, guys. I love you a lot.